Jeremy's getting a manager, I'm getting divorced. Maybe he'll end up happy and successful and I won't. That would be typical. I do everything society demands and die in a ditch. He sits on his ass and accidentally shits a golden egg. It must be Mark. I'm Callie. Got any OJ? Oh, hi. Yeah, yeah, I think there's some in the fridge. Oh, Jesus. Hope I'm not wearing the boxes with the button missing. Don't think so. Think I have coverage. Tropicana, nice. Screw the rest, get the best. <laughs> I like original. Jeremy prefers smooth, but I'm the one buying. Don't tell me he's a smooth peanut butter man, too. That's right. It isn't as good, is it? Is there a button there? Sitting's going to pull the thing wide open if not. Maybe it's sexy. A little glimpse of ball sack? <sighs> My date tomorrow night's cancelled on me. He's back with his ex. But I thought, aren't you and Jeremy... Oh, Jeremy and I aren't dating. We're strictly business, aren't we, Jeremy? Uh, yeah. He's great, but he's really not my type. Jeremy's the kind of guy who talks the talk, but when it comes down to it, he's just never going to deliver the goods. Isn't that right? It's so frustrating. There must be thousands of cash-rich and time-poor singles out there. I just don't have the time to meet them. I'm a gap in the market. Somebody, fill me. I'll fill you. I love you, Callie. You are the one. Let's get married by Sir Alan Sugar and live off all butter croissants in Canary Wharf. Better make a move. So, Jez, good news. I'm sending them a CD, but looks like you're playing the new Axe Tent at Festivus. Really? Festivus? I'm playing the Wolverhampton Festivus? Oh, my God, Mark, I'm in the money. Everything's going to be all right. I am going to be a legend. And you and all of this depressing shit will just be a little footnote in the massive biog of how rich and fucked up I eventually became.